out of the question. One hour with the tablet, and my client will walk the dog. Sweeten the deal by doing the dishes. One hour with the tablet, the dog will do the dishes, and we got a deal. Congratulations. Only Xfinity x lets you take control of your family's online time. Now let's talk about getting our ears pierced. No way. Why? That's simple, easy, awesome. Switch to Xfinity and get this great offer. Click, call, or visit a store today. Only on ABC7 at 11. My friends have had congestion and coughs um, on the hallways, and we all thought, well, maybe we're, we didn't know what it was. But then they looked up the mold problem at George Washington University and what's being done since Seven on Your Side started asking questions. And developing tonight an arrest in a horrific street beating, a group of teens pummeling a man just outside of the Washington Hilton, what we are learning tonight. And we made it to the weekend. The forecast looking good, but I can't quite rule out a shower for everyone. The timing and where they're most likely to pop up as our latest heat wave starts today. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. Mold all over the place, forcing some tenants out of their dorm rooms at George Washington University. The university is telling them there is no, quote, immediate danger, but they are not buying it, saying they should not have been exposed in the first place. Only on ABC 7 tonight, Katie Kairos now is live outside of Mitchell Hall. And Katie, you know, those pictures really tell it all. They really do, and it was brought to our attention by the tenants here. Now, Mitchell Hall behind me is emptier tonight after some of these tenants have been forced out because of the mold problem. All the tenants in this dorm are summer interns with different programs, and now they say they're waiting to hear from the university about how the air quality in this building affected them for the past two months. These interns are moving out of GW University's Mitchell Hall a week early after the discovery of this potentially dangerous mold. Honestly, I would like for them to ensure that we have access to checkups if we would like to get them, uh, that we know that this air is safe. And truthfully, I want my money back. This is ridiculous. In Skylar Nicholson's dorm room, she just discovered she's been breathing this hidden in the ceiling for the last two months. The migraines and the achiness and that type of stuff and my friends have had congestion and coughs um, on the hallways and we all thought well maybe we're, we didn't know what it was. GW says it was on Thursday as crews replaced ceiling tile in Mitchell's hallways that they found the mold problem. It doesn't appear to be an immediate danger to the residents and um, we'll be investigating it further. School officials notified tenants of the mold on Friday advising them that everyone living on two of the floors about 80 people would be moved out to another building so that mold remediation could start. We're going to have to have the students on floors four and seven move out, not because of a health hazard, but because of where the mold is, it's going to be a safety hazard as far as them accessing um, their rooms. Other tenants also opted to move to the other GW building. Each tenant will receive a $525 housing credit. Well, the school says it has employed a third party to do environmental testing on the building, and it will be sharing the results with the tenants. Live in Northwest Washington, Katie Kairos, ABC 7 News. Katie, thank you. An update now to a seven on your side health alert. The Food and Drug Administration now believes imported basil may be to blame for an outbreak of a nasty intestinal bug spreading across the DMV. The company that exports it from Mexico is now ordering a recall. And we just got an update from health officials in Virginia. There were 22 new cases today. That is up to 49 statewide, mostly here in Northern Virginia. Well, tonight we can tell you that an arrest has been made in this beating video that has not only shocked DC, but it is making national headlines. Now, just this afternoon, ABC7 learned that a teenager was taken into custody after this was caught on video at the Washington Hilton earlier this month. Police are still looking for at least nine other people involved in this attack. The two victims are recovering. And developing in Prince George's, an investigation is underway after a man was found stabbed to death right near basketball courts in Bowie. Nearby, an SUV crashed through the parking lot into a picnic table. Crime scene text right there collected evidence at Allen Pond, and police say there is no risk to the community, but they do believe this is a targeted murder. And updating breaking news we had for you last night. We're hearing it was actually five firefighters who suffered minor injuries at this fire in Lothian.